Pillars of Eternity, The Midwife's Memoirs. My mother lived every note of life's song, bringing me into this world was her last verse. For this my father scorned me and abandoned me, and for this very same fact my town's midwife and adherent of Hylia raised me as her own. When I came of age I learned that Hylia visits us on the weak screams of women in childbirth. And when a woman dies giving life to her child, her soul is carried away and reborn as an avian attendant of Hylia's court. Through the miracle of the Queen of Birds, my mother has been with me, watching over me my whole life. I wear the fetish charms of my cloud singer, the bird I dreamt my mother became. My feathery trinkets look gaudy and unbecoming, but it is signified to women in me that I am a trained midwife, blessed by Hylia, living every note of life's song. The Queen of Birds wills us to shepherd new life into the world, and not, as the other gods so often desire, to end it. A follower of Magrin once mocked my faith, saying I worshipped paintbrushes and birds, piddling things beneath the gods. I do not resent the other gods and their brutal necessities that they must oversee, but it is not language, love, the arts, and creativity that which separates us from simple beasts. Hylia allows us to rise above our savage, feral selves. I am often amused that... Upon seeing our holy aviaries, visitors frequently ask, This is nice, but where is the real Temple of Hylia? Perhaps they think hallowed ground requires oppressive stoneworks and ceilings that hide the sky. They do not realize that the Bird Queen stands not on ceremony. She makes herself manifest in the music of birds and in the beauty of the ubiquitous open sky. Hylia prefers the worship of two children singing over a thousand petitioners silently praying for victory. The Sky Mother asks so little of us... And yet so much, we are charged to live every note of life's song. It surprises me how many fail to embrace this divine calling.